In general, in, in terms of content creation, there was one thing I wanted to mention yeah. uh, earlier in the conversation. For sure. Um, you had mentioned that like you, what your timeline and what your feed consists of. Yeah. And I think that's super important because a lot of people, they have, they have feeds that have controlled them instead mm. of them controlling their feeds. Yeah. And I think sure. a super, super, super important thing is to only give the light of day and to only interact with pieces of content that actually resonate with you and that are along, you know, aligned with the same path that you're actually trying to take. Bingo. So if you are trying to hit fitness goals, stop interacting with girls shaking their Yeah. Stop interacting with those like, you know, fun little cooking videos that of, of people who are making marshmallows. It's like, all right, those are all great, but that's not ultimately getting you closer where you want to be. Mm -hmm. That's not ultimately exposing you to things that are going to help you grow as a person. Unless, you know, you're in the culinary industry and you're into all that, like, like you know, them up, like them up. It's fun. <laughs> you wait for it to stop. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. It's good. Good thing we got editors. Yeah, yeah. Editors exist. This might stay in. Who knows? Actually. <laughs> but yeah, All right. Going. Where was I? Cooking, um, cooking, calling there. So yeah, I mean, it's very, very important to optim. What I call it is optimizing your feed. You know, mm -hmm. you're optimizing what you're exposed to. If you sit and you watch the news all day, and the news is telling you it's feeding you a bunch of negative then that's what you're going to be, right? You're going to be negative on many different outlooks of your, you know, different areas of life, your business, your work, your relationships, whatever it might be. If you drown that out and you focus on only the, the things that are relevant to you and where you're headed, then that's going to reflect in the, the way that you're able to take that and then turn it into fuel in your life, whatever it might be, right? Just getting fitness tips is a hell of a lot better than just getting mindless trends even if it's the cute little corn kid <laughs> <laughs> hey, we need some corn lives, let's be real. but uh but yeah that's i think that's a that's probably one of the best pieces of advice that i could give anyone is just um only expose yourselves to the things that are actually benefiting you and try to stay away from the things that aren't and it's very difficult on these short form based content platforms to to um i guess to only be exposed by a certain type of content because that other content is always going to slip in right mm -hmm. it's kind of like there was a there's one there's one concept i forgot where i heard it from but it's called your inner right okay you're gonna have an uh, you're gonna have uh that voice i think it was you know it probably something between david goggins or something like that but you have you have two voices in your head one of them that says let me wake up. Let me get out of bed. Let me go to the gym. The other one that says, oh, this bed is so warm and cozy. Mm. Let me just stay comfortable where I am. Yeah. And as much as you want to focus on the, your inner beast, not your inner mm. and the one that's going to, you know, be able to fuel what it is that you're doing, you have to <laughs> 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 lose my train of thought. What was it? What inner, was it? inner beast to tap in. Inner, that's a great, that's like a good title for a I video. I thought that existed. That's inner, fire. Inner beast. Yeah, yeah. So... Too many people, they ha you have both voices. You have your inner beast, your inner beast. To you have the, whichever one is coming. Hey, just interrupting this video to let you know that this video is sponsored by absolutely nobody. Okay, so that's why I took it upon myself to sponsor it by Poseidon's Workshop. Okay, so if you want a discount code to my clothing brand, it's actually, it's actually super, super sick. sick. You should you definitely should check, check it out. It out. Uh, you can use code Poseidon in all capitals. That's P-O-S-E-I-D-O-N uh, for 15% off. So make sure you check that out. And yeah, let's get back to the video. Okay. Yep. Yep. Uh, that's out of the way. So as we were rudely interrupted, <laughs> you have, this is, I think this is my third time trying to explain this. It but is for sure. You got two voices, your inner and your inner beast. If you let your inner outwin your inner beast, guess which one you're going to become? You're going to become a mm. And so when you, when you get all this content that's going to be trying to slip through the cracks, when you get the girls shaking their asses, when you get the funny trends, and I'm not saying that you shouldn't have fun and you shouldn't try to have, you know, an engaging and a diverse feed, but you have to interact with the ones that are going to help you grow and not the ones that are going to distract you from your mission and your purpose, yep. right? So... That's uh that that is that. Yeah, I got you. I, um, yeah, no, for sure, absolutely. And and to kind of just tap into that a little bit more, um, you have to realize one thing, right? Um, you know, it's what you do when nobody's watching is is that's what defines who you are. You know, so that taps into that inner bitch, right? If if you're if nobody's watching, you're in your house chilling, and you know, say it's raining and you're supposed to go to the gym, you know, 
you could just chill at home. It's raining. You don't want to go outside. No one's home. Nobody is going to know. Nobody's going to know you didn't go to the gym except you. All right. It's what if, if it's, it defines you when you're like, nah, it's raining. I don't go. I don't care. Like I'm still going to go. What am I going to get a little wet? I'm still going to get a, a dope ass pump. And that's what you're going to do. You're going to go to the gym and you're going to come back home as a winner. All right. Not some loser. And if anything is being said about inner being a loser, if that hurts your feelings, you have to fix yourself and your mindset immediately. You're a is that, yeah, like, like I'm sorry, but if that offends you, you have to, you have to, you have to let that offend you, right? Make a, make, get it back at us by actually doing something and and let this motivate you, you know, the right way. I mean, it's not the best way to motivate, but at the same time, it's it's efficient and effective because you might feel some type of way and you you're triggered to go do something, and that's what I want you to do. All right. Yeah, I mean, I'll jump in because you you know you can have you you have the kind of two groups of people, one in your life that are you know, they're kind of telling you, hey, oh, you want to go try this? Yeah, sure. Like, go do it. And then if you don't actually do it, they're just going to say, oh, well, you know, maybe at least you tried, like, but you can just do something else. And then there's going to be someone else who's constantly in your ear, up your ass saying, did you get that shit done? Mm-hmm. I'm going to hold you accountable to doing that. And you need to surround yourself with people that are actually going to do that. And that aren't just like, oh, like, you know, you're doing this right now and you want to do that. Like, oh yeah, you should go try. You should go take some classes. You should watch a couple of YouTube videos. And then you're going to have someone else that says, all right, but if you say you're going to do that, I'm going to hold you accountable to doing it. And if you don't do it and you don't give it your 100%, then I'm going to be on your ass about it. And you need, again, to surround yourself with more people that are like that. And yeah. and again, part of that, you might not be able to do that in person. And that's why you have to surround yourself with the right content, with the right people, with the right online communities, things of that nature. And then maybe you might even meet them in person. But that's where we talk about the feeds, the timelines, all these things that are all influential to what you do. You have the one timeline that's kicking your ass, moving you forward, and the other one that's pulling you back and holding you back from your potential. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I've I've seen like I've literally been over people's shoulder and just seeing like people literally scroll instantly like like not even watch the video like that's not helping you at all. You know, it's I like mean, an auto response. Yeah, legit. And that's also yo if you're watching this video still, if you're watch if you're hearing me right now in this point throughout the video, it's been like what thirty one minutes. Shout out to you. You have an actual attention span. You know, the thing with short content is fantastic. It gets you out there, it gets you an audience, you know, it helps you with organic growth, all that. Great. It's super helpful, super dope, but it's also just killed the attention span of people, which is super unfortunate. I mean, obviously we have to compete to, to gain people's attention. And that's why, like, if you're still watching this, you've, I, I would hope by now you've gained some value and, and you might take something that we've said and then apply it to your daily life. But, you know, shout out to you for actually, you know, sitting through this and, and, and paying attention. You know, grab a meal. I hope you're eating. If, if you got Doritos, throw them out right now. Eat some chicken. Eat some protein. Yo, you got an app?